Now, so, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. This is 2 Corinthians 10, 3 through 5. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. These weapons we just talked about, they're not carnal. They are mighty through God. What does that mean? They're God's armor, his weapons, his empowerment, his ability is in them. And they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, okay, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. We could call these doctor's reports. That'd be one thing, okay? There's many other reports that we could talk about. And bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Now, that's the key right there. You've got to bring every thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ, meaning that every word somebody speaks, every report, everything that comes to your ears, your eyes, or whatever it is, even your senses, your, your feelings, and all that other stuff, you have to decide to cast those things down there because your mind will start to imagine, and the devil's really good at painting pictures. And so he will try to get you to believe that, and you have to say, no, that is not what the Word of God says. That's exalting itself against the Word of God. A doctor says, well, I hate to tell you, but it's cancer. No, I understand what you're saying because you're, you're looking at some things you can see. I'm not going by what I see. I'm going by what I know to be true. Truth, that's what I'm girt with, is I have the truth. And because of that, I am bringing that thought into captivity to the obedience of Christ because you're exalting that knowledge above the knowledge of God. And I'm saying, by his stripes, I'm healed. Amen. So, Doc, take another test. Get your instruments adjusted get them calibrated, whatever it is, because you're going to come back and tell me in a day or two that somehow your test was wrong. Right. In reality, the fact is your report was wrong because this is the report I believe. Right. Now, you've got to get to that point where when you hear it, here's the thing, when you hear that diagnosis, it's going to try to shake you. And I've heard people talk about, well, when I heard the word cancer, it's like I didn't hear anything else and all of a sudden, everything got black and zeroed in, and I got tunnel vision. I heard that so many times. And that's the way the enemy wants to work. He wants to say, look here, focus on this. You're doomed. You're going to die. Just agree and go peacefully. No, never go peacefully. Amen? Go fighting, scratching, screaming, crying, you know, whatever it is. But get active, get aggressive, and go against it. Grab that thing, bring it into captivity, the obedience of Christ, and know that the end result will be this, that you will live and not die, that you will live according to the word of God, and that God's word is true. And if you do that, that is standing. And every time the devil throws something at you, and he throws things all the time, every time he does that, listen, that's why you can't sit and watch all these drug commercials. Why? Because those are seeds trying to get you to get that thing. And you'll okay, go, ooh, I've, I've had that symptom. Ooh, I've had that symptom. I, you know, I probably got that. You know, I probably do need to talk to my doctor and see if that's the medicine I need. I mean, they're trying to tell you what to tell your doctor. And so and if you listen to it, it'll get a seed in there and it'll build up. No, you can't sit and listen to that because all that means you're going to have a whole bunch of thoughts that you got to take captive. So instead, man, turn that thing off, open your Bible, put on a Bible CD or something and let the word of God come in. Amen? And focus on the word of God. Amen? And when you do that, now you're standing. But you can't say you stand. Standing ain't wavering. Standing is standing like a Roman soldier, feet dug in, heels dug in. In other words, devil, you ain't going no further. Right? This is done. And now, so the Romans never thought of defense. Their defense was always they would rally to defend so that they could attack. The, the defense was just the beginning of offense. That's how you have to think. You have to think, okay, I'm going to gird up, get all my weapons, get everything ready. Why? Because I'm moving forward and I'm going to charge right in there. And if somebody tells you, well, it looks like cancer. Well, doc, follow me around because I'm fixing to go find a whole bunch of people with cancer. And I'm going to set them free because I'm free. And then you start sewing. And you start releasing that and you stand. And every time you do that, you're standing. 
but you can't stand there and go, oh, why did this happen to me? Why is God letting this happen to me? Well, you know, it must be because of something. Well, I did something bad, or, or I'm, it's, it's funny. I, I'm either so bad that I deserve cancer, or I'm so holy that this is going to help me even understand compassion better, or something along those lines. It's amazing. The devil will work on both ends, and you have to say, no, it's a devil and has no place here. A thousand at my left, 10,000 at my right, not here. Why? Because this is my dwelling. This ain't me. This is where I dwell. Amen?